yeah, we on the uh, work, yeah, team run it up, work, uh, this ain't a game, I came with the game, look how we run it, look how we run it, the hustle and pain is just not the same, I came from the gutter, ayy, whole team limitless, uh -huh. never said that we above, uh, whole crowd showing love, yeah, 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 cause we up, we on the up, we on the up, team going up, the team going up, we run it up, we run it, we run it, we on the Good evening and welcome to the Spartan Bowl where the Spartans welcome in the Nobles, Noblesville Millers. This is the Union Savings and Loan pregame show brought to you by Union Savings and Loan, Connorsville's hometown bank since 1892. I'm Trot Davidson, joined by Camden Schoenfeld. Cam, with a very good Noblesville team coming in tonight, what do you expect to see from the Spartans? I expect to see a lot less uh, turnovers compared to the game we saw on Wednesday night here against Centerville. Um, of course, they took care of business and beat Centerville, but they also gave up, uh, I think it was 18 turnovers, um, something like that in the Centerville game. That's just something that they cannot afford against a very talented Nobles team, like you said. Yeah, you know, we looked at the turnovers. I think you said they had 18. Um, coming, into their, coming into Wednesday's matchup, they only averaged nine. Um, coming into tonight, them 18 turnovers up that to 10 and a half turnovers a game. Uh, it's going to be really key tonight against a really good Noblesville team who's 9 and 3 coming into the night's game. Um, those three losses come against three key opponents. Um, it's, I know we saw some of the opponents earlier in the season that have been up there in the records, but they haven't had the strength of schedule that Connorsville's had. But Noblesville coming in tonight is a really good matchup on paper for the Spartans. You know, you look at the scoring. And their leading guy is Luke Almadover. He has 17.2 a game. They also have another guard, number three, Aaron Fine, coming in at 13.7 points a game. And their third leading scorer is number five, Cooper Bean. He has seven and a half. If you look at the flip side on the Spartans, Josh Williams is the leading scorer for the Spartans. He has 14.8 a game. And then the next two guys are almost hand-in-hand. -hand. That's Braxton Myers having 10.6 and Lucas Baring having 10.4. Yeah, and something I want to go back to, like you said, the, the toughness of their schedule. You look at teams that they've beat this year. You've got Carmel. They beat Car Carmel 45-42. to The only three losses this year are to Westfield, and that was by five. Uh, Lawrence Central by three and Pike by one. I mean, all of their schedule, I mean, very difficult. Yeah, the Spartans come in tonight 6-1 and one at home. Uh, really, really big win last weekend. Newcastle came into the building. They did take care of business, but it went into overtime. A little closer than we hoped that we had a good game. Um, hoping to see another good one tonight. Yeah, I think we do. Uh, we do see another good one tonight. You know, the Spartans definitely have to clean up some things from Wednesday night, but um, if they do that, they'll be okay. I had a chance to talk to Coach Brown before the game. Let's take a listen into what he had to say. Here with Spartan head coach Kerry Brown. Coach, a really good Noblesville team coming into the Spartan Bowl tonight. Yeah, they are 9-3. and three. They've played a, a really good schedule to this point in time. Um, I mean, their losses are to people like Carmel, Westfield. Uh, their third loss is going to escape me. But they return um, a lot of experience from last year's team. Uh, Al Madovar kid is uh, talent on the wing. Uh, find their point guard's a really fine player. Um, last night, one of their kids was going to go play college ball. Didn't even start. Uh, the Roberts kid was going to go to IU Kokomo. Um, we've got our hands full tonight. What are you expecting to see out of them tonight? Well, I think they're going to offensively. Last night's game against Zionsville was like 37-35. Not what I expected. I thought it might be more up and down, but really two good defensive teams last night. It wasn't that anybody was holding the ball. I think they're going to want to get up and down. They're probably going to want to uh, speed us up. And um, obviously, we're probably going to want to play a little slower tempo and try to keep the game in the 40s, um, maybe low 50s. Uh, we're going to have to defend really well. as uh, They're going to put a lot of pressure on us uh, with their offense. But then also, we're going to need to take care of the basketball because I do think they'll extend their defense and um, try to get after us on, on offense. You know, we've talked about it a lot. Josh Williams has really turned into the the, the go-to guy, the scorer on this team. How big as how big is it, you know, when Josh is having a, an off night for guys like Braxton Myers and Lucas Barron to, to come up big in the scoring column for you guys? Well, you saw what happened down at Greensburg. Josh uh, didn't get to play very much. We struggled somewhat offensively. Um, 
but we still were able to pull the game out. Um, hopefully that goes back to if we defend and we rebound. Because whether Josh is in there or not in there, there's going to be some nights maybe when we just don't shoot it well on a certain night. Um, my, my message to them has just been take care of the basketball. Um, give ourselves a few more opportunities on offense because we are shooting the ball at a good clip, both from three and from two. But back to your original question, if Josh is not there, that hurts our offense quite a bit. Very significant. Yeah, you know, you mentioned it, not turning the ball over. What are some other keys to tonight's game? Well, I think we're going to have to out-rebound these guys. They're not overly big, but they're uh, athletic, especially the Alma Dovar kid, uh, Wal Walston kid, uh, the Roberts kids are going to go play next level. So I think rebounding, um, taking care of the basketball, and then playing our game, um, our tempo, not getting caught up in theirs. Who's in the lineup tonight? Same starting lineup, Gavin Pearson, Josh Williams at the guards, and then our forwards, our wings, our Braxton Myers, Lucas Barron, and James Williams. Thank you, Coach, and good luck tonight. Thanks, guys. Back here in Spartan Bulls, we get ready for tonight's matchup between Connersville and Noblesville. Cam, it, I don't want to say it was an easy win Wednesday night, Centerville coming in the building, but it definitely wasn't one of Connersville's more challenging victories um, besides the turnover battle. Um, I know Coach Brown mentioned it in the interview. They need to keep the turnovers down. But something else he mentioned was the rebounding. Um, the Spartans didn't do a great job on the offensive board Wednesday night against Centerville. Centerville had a lot of second opportunities, second put-back shots. And early in that game, it looked like Centerville was going to stay in the ballgame. Yeah, the Spartans just played sloppy almost. Um, it wasn't like they had a lot of intensity to them. They almost played like they knew they were going to win coming into that game, that's just not a way you can play in high school basketball, um, especially a game like tonight. You know, Noblesville might be coming into this thinking that they have an easy win after, you know, seeing how the Cardinals has played this year, and it's not up to par to what people expected. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, maybe they're thinking that too, and maybe the Spartans can come in and shock them. But, um, you know, just gotta, you got to fix what you didn't do well on Wednesday, and the Spartans know that, and Coach Brown knows that, and everybody in the building knows that. Cam, as we're coming up on three minutes left to go for tip-off, can we get the night starting lineup for the boys? Yeah, we'll start off with uh, Noblesville, number two, Luke Almadover, number three, Aaron Fine, number five, Cooper Bean, number 22, Aiden Brewer, and number 24, Hunter Walston. And then we'll kick over to Connorsville, and it's the same senior starting lineup we've seen all year, and number 10, Gavin Pearson. Number 24, Josh Williams. Number 32, Braxton Myers. Number 34, Lucas Barron. And number 42, James Williams. Cam, as we look at that starting lineup, one thing I know we've pointed out a bunch this year, but I just feel like we need to keep touching back on it. Is that all senior starting lineup? You know, stuff was going south for him Wednesday against Centerville, you know, but there was a point at the game where Josh Williams and Gavin Pearson pulled the team together, and it looked like they had like a little talk during a timeout or something, you know, just that that family mentality that this team has, you know, they've been playing together, I mean, for probably 10 years now, going all the way back to elementary school, just, it's just really big to know that these guys know each other in and out. Yeah, it, it comes down to leadership, and I said that all senior group, um, it's the same senior group it's been all year, and there's a reason for that. Um, these guys are the leaders of the team, like you said, they've been playing together for years, and these juniors and sophomores that you have on this team, it gives them somebody really good to look up to. Take a little look into Noblesville. Cam, they have they have some size on this team. Uh, their biggest coming in at 6'4. He's a junior. He's playing the guard position. He is. He does not start tonight. Their biggest guy, that's number 20, Luke Edginson. That is something that the Connorsville Spartans really do kind of lack of. They don't have that true, they don't have that true center that plays for them each night. James Williams, you know, I guess you could say he's their center, but I mean. There's even parts of the there's even parts of the ball game Wednesday night where they trusted him to bring the ball before. Yeah, you know, uh, something I else want to point out. Noblesville rosters number 24, Hunter Walston. He is also a 6'4 forward, and I expect that to be the guy either James Williams is guarding or Lucas Barron. You know, get some size and get a guy who's going to be aggressive down low on him, um, and that's going to be key. You know, slowing him down. But he is only averaging 6.9 points a game, so he is not one of your key scorers, but. He is leading the team in rebounds per game and assists per game. and Yeah, and steals per game, actually. So across the board, um, other than points per game, he's leading the team. 
Let's take a look at Luke Almadover. He's leading the team in points per game. I believe he has 17.2. Cam, who would you, if you were Coach Brown, who would you put on him to try to slow him down tonight? I'd say it's going to be hard to stop him in overall. Braxton Myers. He is very athletic, very quick, uh, very basketball-minded, um, and he knows what he's doing out there. It's not like you're just throwing some slouch out there at him. I mean, you're throwing one of the best athletes um, that this team has to offer at him. And like I said, he's quick. He's very good at defense. Um, and that's, I mean, like I said, that's my guy that I would put on him. You know, we talked about how Connorsville doesn't have a true senior. Looking at Noblesville's roster, they don't have a center listed either. Uh, this could be, I mean, like we said earlier in the broadcast on paper, this is a very, a very good matchup for the Spartans. You know, you look at the JV game, it wasn't as good. I believe Noblesville came up. Uh, final score was 55 to 16, I believe. You know, it just seemed like at the end of the first quarter, especially at that game, that it was just clear cut that Noblesville is the better team. We look at tonight's matchup between the, vars the two varsity squads, it doesn't look the same way. No, on paper, these, te these two teams are very good. And it's not necessarily small ball, as they have a lot of guys listed 6'2, 6'3, and a couple 6'4. But I mean, there's nobody has that true center, like you said, so you don't expect to be seeing a lot of dishes. I expect to um, see a lot of running the ball and a lot of threes getting thrown up. Um, like I said, almost a small ball type of game. Um, you don't throw your big man out there. Coach Brown mentioned it in the interview that another key term for them tonight is going to be the word defense. You know, he said he looked, keep it in the high 40s, low 50s. Uh, they actually had a game. Noblesville had a game last night against Zionsville. Both teams skate, or excuse me, stayed in the 40s. You know, Coach said he was really surprised by that. Two teams that like to get out and run. Uh, transition defense is going to be another big thing for the Spartans tonight. It's got to be there. Yeah, it absolutely does. Um, like you said, surprised at that game. Nobody really got over 50 in that game. I don't think anybody actually did. Um, two teams that are known for wanting to run the ball. Um, and Zionsville and Noblesville, and I expect that to be what Noblesville does uh, right here off the start, you know. The key the key to a normal Spartan game is the first one to 40, and Noblesville knows that. Uh, this isn't Noblesville's first time playing Connorsville. They know how Coach Brown runs. They know how the system runs. And, you know, I expect them to come out and just try and run the ball and get, you know, as big of a lead as possible. Yeah, you know, if we take a look at this, last, this matchup last year, it was at Noblesville. The Spartans were down late in the fourth quarter. That comeback led by the two seniors last year, Toby Phillips and Caleb Sparks. Cam, I feel like this, this Spartan team with the depth of the bench is set to take another run like that if this is to get out of hand pretty quick. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You talk about the depth and last uh, on last Saturday night. So, yeah, a week ago tonight, I watched them play Newcastle. And with by the end of the first quarter, I think there were eight players that touched the court. Uh, meanwhile, Newcastle hadn't subbed in one guy. And that showed later in the game when their players were exhausted and Connorsville still had legs. And um, Connorsville, like I said, ultimately came on top of that game, out on top on that game, um, you know, winning in overtime. And I think, that, like I said, I think it shows a lot, you know, the roster that this team has. As we're getting ready to hear the lineups from both teams, can we get a recap on the two starting lineups tonight? Yeah, we'll look at Noblesville first. Number two, Luke Almadover. Number three, Aaron Fine. Number five, Cooper Bean. Number 22, Aiden Brewer. Number 24, Hunter Watson. And that's Noblesville's starting five. We'll kick over to Connorsville. And like I said earlier, it's the same starting five we've seen all year. And I believe it'll be the same starting five we see the rest of the year. Number 10, Gavin Pearson. Number 24, Josh Williams. Number 32, Braxton Myers. Number 34, Lucas Barron. And number 42, James Williams. Those are your starting lineups for tonight's game. Tip off, moments away. We will be right back after the national anthem.
Here at Spartan Bowl, moments before tip-off, Cam, Coach Brown said his keys to the game were rebounding and watching the turnovers. Is there anything else that you think the Spartans need to do tonight in order to win this one? Uh, defense, um, and other than that, rebounds and turnovers, and I think Coach Brown summed it up pretty well. Um, you know, this Noblesville team likes to get out and run, and the Spartans know that, Noblesville knows that, everybody knows that, so if they can slow them down, I think that'll be key. Meeting in the middle for tonight's tip-off is number 34, Lucas Barron of the Spartans, and number 24, Hunter Walston for the Millers. As everyone gets set, we are seconds away from tip-off. Ball's up and controlled by the Spartans. That is Josh Williams bringing the ball up for the Spartans. He throws it over to Lucas Barron. Barron back up top to Gavin Pearson, over to Braxton Myers. Myers over to Barron, over to Josh Williams. Josh kicks over to Gavin Pearson. Over to Barron in the corner. Barron drives inside. He's gonna do a spin move, put up a layup, it's no good. Rebound by the Millers, that's number five. Cooper Bean gives it up to number three, Aaron Fine. Back over to number 24, Hunter Walston. Fine has it back. He hands it off to Almond over. Over to Walston. 
Almond over has it inside. He's working on Gavin Pearson. He kicks it over to Walston, who drives baseline, yeah. and they're going to call him for a travel. Yeah, Spartans did a great job there um, on defense and offense. De uh, offensively, didn't get a bad look, uh, kept the ball open, was moving the ball around. Did a pretty good job, and on defense, uh, stayed tight to their man, uh, did good in the help side, and that paid off there, you know, forcing Noblesville into their first turnover of the night. Josh Williams bringing the ball up for the Spartans. He kicks it over to Gavin Pearson, who gives it back up to Myers at the top of the key. Myers tries to drive inside. He hands it off to Barron. Barron over to Josh. Josh has it on the wing. He looks inside to James. He's not going to give it. He gets a ball screen. He's going to drive inside. Has it poked away, and they're going to call a foul on, I believe, number two. Almond over. Luke Almond over. Yep. Yeah, that's another thing. You know, if they could get him in no, foul no, trouble no, or no. even no. fine in foul trouble, no, I think no, that would help them out, you know, taking – one of the key um, players in scoring, you know, threats away. I mean, yeah. Gavin Pearson has it up top. He over to Myers. Myers has it poked away. He's going to drive inside. Shot fake. He's going to put up a two-handed layup, and it's going to go. Braxton Myers has the first two points of this ball game. That'll be his first. Yeah, that was a very good job there. Uh, Pump fake got the main to jump. And uh, put the ball right back up. Thought he threw it a little hard there off the backboard at first, but uh, Mitt rattled in. Walston has it. He kicks it over to Fine. Back up to Almond over. Over to Walston. That is, he kicks it over to Bean. Bean up to Fine. Fine across to Almond over. He has it on the wing. He's going to try to get it inside. He does to Aiden Brewer, who kicks it out. Tries to find Aaron Fine, but ultimately turns the ball over. It's going to be Spartan basketball up 2 nothing. Yeah, uh, something I noticed there is the, uh, the Doblesville Millers tried to put number 22 on Gavin Pearson with a switch and uh, go down low and go for the mismatch. And it almost worked, but James Williams was in the help side and did a phenomenal job. Myers drives baseline, kicks it out to Barron. Barron. Pump fakes, drives inside, pulls up from 15 feet, does not get it to go off the back of the rebound or off the back of the rim, excuse me. Cooper Bean has it. He's driving coast to coast. No good off the back of the rim. Josh Williams has it. The Spartans are on the attack. He tries to find Myers on the block. Gets it stolen by Walston, who kicks it over to Fine. Fine drives inside, puts it to 10-footer, and gets it to go to tie the ball game at two with a little over five minutes and 15 seconds left to play in this first quarter. Yeah, a lot going on there uh, between those three possessions. Noblesville came down, gave the ball, or uh, put up a shot. Josh Williams drove the ball down, um, did a good job looking for the open man, just made kind of a bad pass. Um, and, you know, gave the Millers right back the ball. Braxton Myers gives it inside to Lucas Barron, who kicks it back out to Myers. Myers has it on the wing. He dribbles it around the top of the key, picks it up, and throws it over to Josh Williams. Josh looks inside to Barron. Barron has it on the block. He's backing down Alma Verdevo. He puts it up and gets a foul and one. They are going to call that foul on number two, Luke Alma over. That is going to be his second foul tonight as Lucas Barron has a chance to make this a three-point ball game. Yeah, all maneuver in the Noblesville Millers coaching staff is not a fan of that call, is it? It does appear that, you know, all maneuver stayed straight up for the most part. I don't really know what, you know, what the call was there, what the refs saw, but, um, you know, Luke Sparrow doesn't make a second free throw. Uh, Spartans lead 4 2. Fine has it. He gives it up to Bean. Bean across to, or Walson, excuse me. Fine has it back on the wing. Bean has it in the corner. He kicks it up to Fine. Fine's going to chuck up a deep three. He's no good off the left side of the rim. Rebound controlled by Gavin Pearson as he kicks it out to Josh Williams. As the Spartans are in transition offense, he gives it up to Myers on the wing. Myers up to Gavin Pearson up top, over to Josh Williams on the wing. He gives it over to Myers in the corner. Myers back up top to Gavin Pearson. Looked yeah. like they... He tried to get it over to Taco Pearson on the wing. Looked like Taco tried to go screen for somebody. Just miscommunication. That's going to be a turnover by the Spartans. Right. You know, something I noticed there on that possession was Coach Brown was telling his team, you know, calm down, doing the arm motions. Everybody relax. Um, they, you know, Noblesville forced a turnover. Um, it looked like just a mistake on uh, the Cousins part. You know, nothing too crazy there. Walston throws up a three. It's no good. 
Looks like we're, we're gonna, gonna have. Go. Ooh. We're gonna call a foul. On, oh no, they're gonna call a jump ball. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, that could have probably been an over the back call. I thought they were gonna call a foul on number number 22, Aiden Brewer. But yeah. It looks like they tied it up. It's gonna stay Noblesville basketball. Yeah, I, I thought the same thing there, but um, you know, jump ball. Bean has it. He kicks it over to Walston. Walston over to number 20. Luke Etchinson, he gives it up to Fine. Fine pulls up from 10 feet. He gets it to go. Basketball number three, Aaron Fine. Josh Williams has it. He's bringing it up for the Spartans. Over to Gavin Pearson on the wing. Josh gets it back. He has it at the top of the key as we see number 23, Preston Roberts, set to check back. Or excuse me, set to check in for the Noblesville Millers. As we see Josh Williams driving baseline, he's gonna kick it over to Gavin Pearson. Back over to Josh. Josh is gonna take a corner three and he's gonna get it to go. Spartans regain the lead, up three at seven to four. Little under three left to play in this first quarter. Yeah, you know, that was a great look there for uh, Josh Williams. Came on the baseline, passed it out, and uh, got the ball right back in the corner and drained a three. Fine has it. He's working in the post. He's going to find Etchinson. He's going to get his first two points to go. Lead cut down to one. Josh Williams has it at the height. He's going like to get double team. He's going to get the ball stolen. As Fine has it, he's going to drive coast to coast. Uh, call block. Was called? They're going to call a blocking foul on Josh Williams. I thought he was set. Ultimately, they are going to call a charge. Yeah, it almost looked like maybe Josh jumped with him a little bit there. Not for sure, though. Um, he was definitely set to start, but it looked like maybe his feet came off the ground when, uh, you know, before he made contact with him. So I don't know if that had something to do with it. Fine has it. He's going to pull it from beyond the free throw line. He, he's going to airball it. It hit the bottom of the rim. Myers comes down with it. Looks like there could have been a foul call right there, but he has the ball stolen. Fine has it again. He's going to kick it over to Roberts in the corner, back up to Fine. Fine's going to hand it off to Etchinson. Etchinson drives inside, kicks over to Watson. Walston, excuse me. Walston's going to there you go. lower his shoulder and knock Tucker Pearson down. They are going to call a charge on him. That's going to be his first foul of the night. Uh, a bit really big, really big opportunity for the Spartans now to grow this lead to possibly three or three, possibly four. Yeah, you know that's that's the third foul there for the Millers of the first quarter. Uh, a little over a minute 45 left to play in this first quarter. Uh, you have, you know, their main player Almondover in foul trouble. Already two quick fouls in the first quarter. Uh, Waltson with one already. You know, that's a couple key guys that if they could get in even deeper foul trouble that, you know, the Miller's going to find themselves in trouble. Josh has it in the corner. He picks up his dribble and gives it to Taco Pearson off top of the key. He looks inside to Myers. Myers drives inside. He's going to get a whistle called. I believe they're going to call a foul on what looks like number 20, Luke Etchinson. Yep. Or actually, no. Number five. Number five. We're Bean. calling on Cooper Bean. Excuse me. Yeah, you know, that's, that's another player that, you know, this part getting foul trouble. They're going to be good. That's going to be his first, team's fourth. As that pass by Taco Pearson's batted away by number 10, Justin Curry, who just checked into the ball game. Myers has it. He's going to try to look inside. That's a, a really bad no call, I believe. Um, Josh Williams was late getting it. it. Looked like he was being held. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I mean, they're gonna let it. They're gonna let this one be a physical one tonight. Yeah. You know, we've seen that in a lot of games here recently. The physicality has uh, picked up here towards the midway to end of the year. You know, it, it's that time of the year, I guess. Curry has it. He's gonna try to get it to find. They are gonna call a double dribble on him. That's another turnover by Noblesville. Yeah, that's another just mental air turnover there by uh, Noblesville. I don't know, that's three, four already. Uh, a little less than 50 seconds left to play in this first quarter. And I mean, they have made a lot of errors so far. Lucas Baring checking back into the ball game for the Spartans during that little hectic spree 
We missed it, but Blaine Hornsby checked into the ball game for the Spartans. His first one, uh, him and Taco Pearson have really stepped up and been the sixth and seventh man on this team. Gavin Pearson being double teamed. He's going to get it stripped. Fine's going to go up with it. He's going to miss it, but number five, Cooper Bean's going to be right there to clean up his mask, put it up as you, we see the Noblesville Millers take the lead at eight to seven. 15 seconds left to play in this first quarter. Looks like the Spartans are going to hold for one last shot. The Noblesville Millers are up one at eight to seven. As we see Hornsby have it in the corner, he's going to give it to Josh. Josh is going to drive inside, put up a 15-footer. He's going to get it to go. No foul called. It looks like Spartan coaches are not happy. Make that five for Josh. The Spartans regain the lead at nine to eight. Cam, it just looks like the Spartans are getting sped up right now. Yeah, you know, they settled down there early in the first quarter, ran their offense, ran their game uh, on defense and offense. Um, it showed. And then there towards the middle to end part of the first quarter, they definitely got sped up. Noblesville wanted to play the game uh, their way. And, I mean, it showed on the scoreboard. They, I think they were up, the Spartans were up like 7-2, to two, maybe something like that. And they rallied to 7-8, to eight, um, you know, late there in the second quarter. But something I do like is the Spartans are holding, um, you know, them scoring-wise pretty low so far in this game. Another thing is Almondover already in foul trouble. Is, uh, is he checked back into this game? Yeah, he's going to check back into the game for the Millers. Yeah, you know, that's if you could pick up his third foul early here in the second quarter, you put him out for the rest of the half, in my opinion. You, I mean, you just, you just got to be smart with him. Starting the second quarter off of the Millers, we're going to see number 23, Preston Roberts, number 10, Justin Curry, number 20, Luke Etchinson, number 2, Luke Almadover, and number 3, Aaron Fine. Cam, you just mentioned that Alvinover has two fouls, and it'd be key for a guy like Josh Williams to drive right at him. As we see, they're actually Taco they're actually going to put Taco. Or they're going to make him guard Taco Pearson, and I wonder if they're trying to prevent him from getting that, uh, you know, third foul, letting him more play the offensive side. Yeah, they're going to let the freshman Justin Curry stay on Josh. As we see, James Williams get it fed inside. He missed it. Gets his rebound. He puts it back up. They're going to call a foul on number 23, Preston Roberts. He, James gets his shot to go. He's going to have the and one attempt to put the Spartans up by possibly four. Yeah, uh, that's the fifth foul. Should be, yeah, fifth foul to, uh, you know, half there for Noblesville. James' free throw is up and good. Spartans stretch that lead 2-4 at 12-8, to eight, just 15 seconds into this second quarter. We see Almondover have it. He's going to drive. Oh, wide open. He's going to pull it from the top of the key, and he's going to get it to go. Yeah, all, a guy like Almondover is not going to miss those type of opportunities. It looked like Barron and Myers just kind of got it switched up there. Maybe one said switch and didn't hear it, and, um, you know, left Almondover wide open on the top. Myers gives it up to Josh Williams in the corner, back up to Myers. Myers over to Taco Pearson, who looks inside to Josh. Josh puts up a 15-footer and gets it to go. He has seven tonight, picking right up where he left off in the Newcastle and Centerville ball games. Yeah, he is. He's got off to a hot start tonight. Um, and you know, if he keeps that going, that's going to help out the Spartans a lot. Fine has it. He's going to get a ball screen, pick it up to the top of the key, and that's number 20, Etchington, who gives it up to Roberts, who's going to drive inside, guarded by James Williams. He's, that's going to be blocked. Really good defense right there by James to turn the possession back over to the Spartans. Yeah, like you said, Great defense there as they're going to get Nick Curry with a foul. That'll be uh, Noblesville's sixth foul. One more foul in, uh, there in the bonus as you just seen the ref almost give a warning to uh, Noblesville's coaches. He is not happy. Yeah, they're standing up there pacing. We look over at Coach Brown. He looks pretty calm. Uh, you know he's got to be feeling good right now with his team playing as good as they are. As we're going to see a... Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, it did look like both players had control of the ball there. That's a tough one to make. We're going to call a jump ball. Possession's going to go to the Millers. The arrow will fly back over to Connorsville's side. 
as we see Aaron Fine about to take the ball up. The rest are talking to somebody over there in Noblesville as we resume play. That is Aaron Fine bringing the ball up for the Millers, guarded by Taco Pearson. Almond over has it, guarded by Myers. He gives it up to Curry, over to Fine. Fine's going to drive inside. As it looks like he traveled, he's going to give it to Almond over, and he's going to get another three. Spartan coach Kerry Brown not happy about that no call. Yeah, that you know that could have been a call to travel. Could have been called a charge too. Um, I believe that was Braxton Myers had his feet set and had been waiting for the guy. Um, and I, I do think he traveled as well. Myers is going to drive baseline, shot fake. He got two people to jump, and I believe they're going to call number, number 20. twenty. That is Luke Etchinson. Yep. As we see Braxton Myers. Spartans are in bonus in. now, yeah. Yeah, Spartans are in the bonus. That was a shooting foul, though, so Myers will have two guaranteed free throws. That's going to be Etchinson's first, team's seventh. Myers' free throw is up and good. He has one more coming. Yeah, I mean, the Noblesville has put up a lot of fouls so far. Um, you know, seven, two coming against Almondover. Probably could have been three against Almondover. A few minutes ago, but you know they, like you said earlier, letting them play. Myers' second free throw is up and good. He extends the Spartan lead to 2-2, two, two, uh, up 16 to 14. That is Myers' second point of the ball game, fourth point, excuse me. Fine has it at the top of the key. He's got it by James Williams. Good steal right there by James. Josh has it. Uh, he tried to dunk it. Should have just gave the layup. As Lucas Barron comes back down with it. And he gets up to go. Spartans extend that lead to four. Yeah, Coach Brown didn't look happy there with the dunk attempt uh, with a guy behind him. That was a dangerous play. Uh, just would have been easier to go up for the layup. As he, oh, that was all ball. They're going to call Braxton Myers with a foul. Said he came down on him. From our angle, it looked like he got all ball. That's going to be Myers' first foul tonight. Yeah, that'll be Team second. Roberts shooting at the line, going hit for his first points of the night. See number 23, Preston Roberts shooting to his first one up and good. Excuse me, the end one attempt. Josh Williams has it. There's a foul. Over to Barron. Or excuse me, over to Myers. Saw James Williams hit the floor. They're going to call. That's Roberts. Preston. Yeah, they're going to call Preston Roberts. That's his second. Team's eight. James Williams will have a one on one attempt upcoming. Yeah, with all these opportunities to free throw line, we've talked about it a lot this year. The Spartans haven't been great there, but they got to be, you know, great from the free throw line tonight. James gets his first one to go. That's his fourth point of the night. You know, we mentioned the Spartans haven't been shooting the free throw great this year, but as of late, you know, you've seen improvements. Right. Um, it hasn't been as bad as we see James's second free throw was up and no good. As Aaron Fine comes down with it, he gives it up to Bean back over to Fine. He picks up his dribble, there you tries go. to give it to Almond over. Josh Williams elects to take the, the layup this time. He gets it to go. He has nine tonight. The Spartans extend their lead to four at 21 to 17. See Fine chuck up a three. He gets it to go. Cut that lead back down to one. Yeah, that's fine. Seventh point of the night. He's leading the minor, or the Millers, excuse me. See Gavin Pearson check, set to check back into the ball game. Barron has it. Over to Josh. They're going to call a foul on number five, Cooper Bean. Josh got his layup to go. He'll have the and one attempt. It's Bean's second foul, team's ninth. One more foul, the team will be in double bonus. Yeah, and that's Blaine Horns who checks back into the game. That's another guy that, you know, Noblesville has to be careful with getting in foul trouble. If he picks up his third foul here, um, but the midway through the second quarter, you know, you would think he's coming out of this game for the half. 
Josh has one free throw upcoming. It is up. It is good. Spartans back up by four. Josh has 12 on the night. Fine has it. He gives up to Walston. Back over to Fine. Over to Ahmed over. He's going to dribble it around the wing. He's going to try to drive baseline. He has to give it up to Bean. Bean over to Walston. Walston drives baseline. And they're going to call a foul on, I believe they're going to call it on Hornsby. Yeah, that would be, if they do, that would be Hornsby's first team's third. Yep. Hornsby's first, team third. Not a terrible foul there. Uh, that was going to be a, a basket for, not sure, exa don't remember exactly who that was, but I mean, that was going to be an easy layup there. You see number 22, Aiden Brewer, checking back in for the Millers. He is one of their starters. As you see, Noblesville has all five starters out on the floor right now. Fine, drives inside. He's going to put it from eight foot. He's going to get the foul. And one, actually, I don't know. Call, I think they're going to call it on the floor. For the basket, yes. No. Uh, no, they are going to say they are going to count the basket. Oh, and yeah. Fine is going to have an and one opportunity coming to pull this game back within one. Yeah, that's a Braxton Myers' his second foul of the night. Teams fourth. The Spartans have done a pretty good job of staying out of foul trouble um, in this first half. Finds free throws up and good. Make that 10 for him tonight. As we see Noblesville pull a full court press over. Pearson has it. He gives it up to Josh. Josh picks up in the corner. And he was across the line. 10 second ball. Yeah, that was oh. late. Yeah, Josh Williams was already across and had made another pass before. Yeah. I don't know exactly what happened there. Oh, he was, the ball the ball is going absurd right now. Yeah, he was across the line. Um, Coach Brown not happy about that one as you see him over there talking to the official. Fine has it on the wing. He gives it over to Almond over. Over to Bean. Bean over to Almond over. He's going to shot fake, try to drive inside, give it to Bean. Bean's going to chuck up a three. It's no good off the back of the rim. Rebound by the Spartans. James Williams gives it up to Josh Williams. With three minutes left to play in this first half. Josh gives it up to Barron. Over to Gavin Pearson. Over to Josh Williams. He gives it down to James Williams as he's backing him down. He kicks it over the corner to Lucas Barron. Barron drives inside and we're going to have a whistle. And they're going to call a foul on number 22, I believe. Yes, number 22. It's Brewer. Aiden Brewer. I believe it's going to be yep, his, his second. First. That's, excuse me, it's his first Alex team. He's 10th. So Aiden Lucas Brewer. Barron will have a double. They're in the double bonus. They will have two free throws upcoming and a guaranteed two free throws the rest of the way out of this first half. Yes, yeah, something I want to point out is Noblesville has three players with two fouls right now. Almondover, Bean, and Roberts all have two apiece. Barron gets his first free throw to go. Make that five for him. We see number 20, Luke Etchinson, check back into the ball game for the Millers. Barron's second free throw up and good. He has six on the night. He extends that Spartan lead 2 3, 26 to 23, with a little over two and a half minutes left to play in this one. That is Allman over, hands it off to Fine. Fine gives up to Etchison. Etchison has it on the wing. Yeah, there's another, you know, bad switch by the Spartans. They can't afford too many more of those tonight. Etchison has it. He gives it up to Fine on the wing. Fine's going to get a ball screen, take a step back, give it up to Allman over, who gets another ball screen. He has it top of the key. He's going to drive inside. He's yeah, that was a ball. Shot. It's going to be a no, a no call. Josh Williams comes down with it as he's going to give it up to Barron. Barron, they're going to get a whistle, and yeah. they're going to call a charge on Barron. Yeah, that, that was an easy call, call there for the official, um, but that was two good calls there on both sides of the um, of the court. You know, that was an all-ball block down there on 
Uh, Noblesville's in, and then Noblesville came down and took a charge as well. Um, like I said, both very good calls. Fine bringing it up for the Millers. He's going to get a ball screen. He has it on the wing. He's going to try to drive inside. He gives it up to Etchins, or excuse me, Allman over. Allman over. Seeds Brewer on the block. He's going to get it up. He's going to get it to go. He has two tonight as the Millers pull that lead back down to one at 26 to 25 with a minute and a half left to play. Yeah, that's a. Let's see a whistle and looks like it got poked away by. Yeah, I thought they were going to call a foul there. That looked like that could have been called a foul there on number 24, Walston. That would have been Walston's second, but, you know, they didn't call it. They're letting him play on. Taco Pearson checks back into the ball game. As Josh Williams is set to bring the ball out, He's, the rest are still talking to Noblesville's head coaches. Gavin Pearson has it in the backcourt. He brings it across the timeline, hands it off to Josh Williams. Josh is going to drive inside. Jump stop, put up a 15-footer, and it's going to get him to go. He's got 14 tonight as the Spartans stretch that lead to three. Etchison has it. He gives it up to Allman over as they're going to call an illegal screen on 20. 20 Etchison. That's his second. As team's 11. Who's going to be shooting the free throws here? His second. Team's over 11. We'll see Brady Cloyd check into the ball game. Um, did they not? I don't know what they called there. Did they not call a foul? I, I believe they did. I, I don't see anything. Maybe they didn't call a foul. Either way, the Spartans have the ball with 55 seconds left to play in this one. Josh Williams gives it up to Taco Pearson. I mean, they Over had to. to Cloyd. Yeah, I don't know. Barron over to Cloyd. Cloyd has it on the wing. Back over to Barron. Josh Williams now has it at the top of the key with 35 seconds left to play. Taco Pearson has it. Uh, he picks up his dribble. He gives it up to Barron. Barron dribbles it off his foot, dives for it. The Millers have it. That is number 20, Etchinson, who has it. He gives it up to Fine with 15 seconds left to play in this one. Spartans trying to hold it. They got pressured and ultimately turned the ball over. Yeah, it looked like there were quite a few reach-ins there when Taco Pearson uh, picked up his dribble on number 20. Allman over takes a step back from deep, and it's no good off the left side of the rim. Josh Williams throws up a full-court heave. Oh. Close, but does not go just on the outside of the rim. At the half, the Spartans find themselves up three, 28-25. Bam, solid half from the Spartans, up three going into the break. Yeah, a very solid half from the Spartans. Um, did exactly what they needed to do coming into this uh, game. Um, like you said, the turnovers are down. They, the turnovers are up for Noblesville, which is a thing you know, the Spartans wanted to see. Uh, rebounds are doing a very good job on the defensive you know, side of the ball, rebounding it. And... Um, you know, just stopping their key player. Almondover only has six right now. He picked up two quick fouls there at the start of the first quarter. And I think he sat the rest of the first quarter and didn't come back into the second quarter. They didn't get him to pick up his third foul there, which would have ultimately put him out for uh, the first half, I do believe. But, um, you know, the Spartans a very solid first half. Cam, can we get the scoring recap for the first half? from the Spartans and the Millers. Yeah, we'll look at Noblesville first. Leading the way is fine with 10. Following in suit is Almond over a six. Roberts with three. Bean, Brewer, and number 20, Etchison with two apiece. And then we look over at uh, Connorsville. Leading the way is Josh Williams with 14, having another good night like he was um, against Centerville and Newcastle, like you said. Braxton, or excuse me, Lucas Barron with six, and Braxton Myers and James Williams with four apiece. Ultimately, in this halftime score to 28 to 25, favoring the Spartans. Cam, we talked about it in the first half. They needed to rebound, they needed to play defense, and they needed to 
um, cut down the turnovers. They had done all three in this game. Um, one thing I've especially noticed is the turnovers um, there towards the beginning of the first half, the end of the first quarter specifically, they started to get sped up. They had two or three turnovers within a minute and a half, but the second half or second quarter, excuse me, came out and did a really nice job of slowing the pace, playing the game that they want to play, and um, keeping the turnover number low. Like you said, they just played their their game like they know how to, you know. They're at the end of the second or first quarter. They got sped up by the Millers, and uh, that caused a lot of turnovers and allowed the Millers to crawl back. You know, they had a five or seven point lead. I don't remember exactly, but um, you know, the Millers started playing their game their way, and I mean, it showed. You know, they rallied back, and um, you know, they found themselves up at one point. So uh, the Spartans did a very good job. Okay, and let's take a little look at. Let's take a deeper dive into that first half, especially on the Spartan side of the ball and into earlier in the season. You know, Josh Williams, you said he's leading the way with 14. I think like these last three games, especially since that Greensburg game last Friday night, he's really stepped up in the fact that he hasn't been fouling. And on the flip side, on offensively, he's just been, he's been, he's been a stud here as of late. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he absolutely has. You talked about the Greensburg game where he fouled early and fouled off, and it seemed like, um, and he did not play very much. Um, maybe at the end of the game, I think he only had six points that game at the max. And, um, you know, it showed, but the Spartans spread the scoring out, and they did a very good job. But you talk about the Newcastle game. He had 28 against Newcastle. Um, not exactly sure how many he had against uh, Centerville. I'll tell you right here. He had 10 against Centerville. Um, and you know, they've developed a lot of players. and They're having a really good year. East Central, you know, they're always a pretty solid team. I think we've took care of business against them the last couple of years, but they are always a solid team. Yeah, let's take, let's look back at this one, Cam. You know, we've mentioned it a lot. Spartans are up three. That score, 28 to 25. What do you think the Spartans need to do to continue this lead? to hold on to this ball game and get a very impressive win against a very good Noblesville team. I think they just got to slow down and play their game. They've been doing it for a while now. And, um, you know, they, they just got to slow down and play their game. Like I said, they've done a very good job in this first half. We have a little under four minutes left to go before we resume the third quarter. We will be back in three minutes and 50 seconds. Back here at Spartan Bowl to begin this third quarter. The Spartans find themselves up 28 to 25. Cam, we talked about at the halftime show that Coach Brown even mentioned the turnovers, the rebounding, and the defense are key to winning this game, and they have done all three tonight. Yeah, they have. Got sped up there a little bit uh, at the end of the first quarter, beginning of second quarter. But other than that, you know, they've had a pretty clean game so far and did exactly what they needed to and exactly what Coach Brown wrote up, I have no doubt. James Williams kicks it out to Lucas Barron. Barron up to Josh Williams. He's going to try to drive inside. He's going to put up a shot off the glass. He gets it to go. Make that, I believe, 16, 16 for yep. him tonight as the Spartans find themselves up five early in this third quarter. Yeah, and I said it, you know, while we were off break, whoever comes out and plays this first half is going to win this basketball game, and the Spartans are off to a good start. Almodover gets it up to fine. Fine, back over to Alma over. That is Walston that has it. He's going to try to drive inside, back up to Alma over. Who is going to drive inside? And call foul. And yeah, there goes whistle. And there's going to be a foul, I believe. James. Yep. They're going yep to call James Williams. James That's Williams. his first team's first of the half. Not something you want to see after a pretty clean first half there from the Spartans foul foul wise. Fine, set to throw this ball in for the Millers. He finds Almond over in the corner. He's going to drive inside again. He's going to take a step back. They like to pass it. He gives it up to Bean over to Almond over. Almond over drives inside, gets it poked. That is, Walston puts up a three. It's no good. Josh Williams comes down with the rebound as his partners are going to push. Josh goes to drive inside, gives it up to Myers. Myers takes a three from the top of the key. No good off the front of the rim. And we see Bean get the rebound as he is pushing for the Millers. 
Yeah, he, Myers knew immediately after he shot it that he didn't make that. You seen him take straight off towards the front of the rim as he knew he left it short. Fine has it, he's gonna put up a three. Offensive rebound by the Millers. Almodover gets it, he gives it over to Walston. Walston puts up a tough shot, no call, no good. Yeah, I mean, you said no call, but there wasn't really a call to be made. You know, everybody stayed clean for the most part. That was a tough shot for the Millers player. I don't remember exactly who it was, but I mean, that was a tough shot coming from under the basket, sideways, full speed. Josh Williams has it. He's gonna put up a tough shot and gets it to go. Up seven. He has 18 early on in this third quarter. Yeah, he is having himself a game, uh, just like the Newcastle game, basically just taking over. It's been a quiet 18 for Josh tonight. As we see Almond over, get it on the wing. He's gonna drive inside, put up a layup, no good, rebound controlled by the Spartans. Barron has it, he's gonna give it up to Josh. Yeah, it looks like Almondover's getting sped up here, um, almost like desperation like we've seen on Welch with Newcastle. James Williams goes up with it, and yeah. they're gonna, we have a whistle, they're gonna say number 22, Aiden Brewer went over James, and they're gonna call a foul on him. That's oh, gonna be wow. his second team's Brewer. first of the half as we see James Williams set to shoot for two free throws. Yeah, James is. Uh, I think been perfect from the free throw line so far tonight. Um, and he struggled at times this year um, from the charity stripe. Is his first one is off the marks. Awaiting James' second free throw. The Spartans are up 7, 32 to 25 with a little over five minutes left to play in this third quarter. James' second free throw is up. No good. Braxton Myers yep. gets the offensive rebound and the Spartans have a second chance. Yeah, I seen him uh, building up to that offensive rebound while he was standing there. You know, he's messing with the other guy's arm and it paid off. Josh dumps it down to James. James is going to draw another foul on Brewer. I believe yep. that is Brewer's third. Yep. He's going to pick up a quick two. Yeah, that's Brewer's third, team's second of the half. He's got to knock down his two free throws here. James draws two quick fouls on Aiden Brewer. He puts up his first. It is oh. no good. James has missed three free throws in a row. As yeah. we see number 23, Preston Roberts, check back into the ball game for the Spartans. Or, excuse me, for the Millers. Yeah, James has at least got to make one here for sure. Um, get the momentum still rolling in the Spartans' way. James puts his... Second free throw in. He now has five. That is Walston that has it. He's trying to drive inside. Gives it up to Almondover. Almondover pulls it back out and resets the offense. Over to Bean. Bean gives it up to Fine. Fine's going to try to drive inside. He's going to spin back middle. And they're going to call a foul on James Williams as he does not like that call. Yeah, that's an interesting call there. Um, they had the better angle on it, of course. They were on the back side of the play, but um, you know, I didn't see a whole lot of contact, but that's uh, James Williams' second foul, team's second foul of the half. Do you see uh, Taco Pearson check in for Gavin Pearson? Almodover has it on the block. He's going to go up with it, and they're going to call a late foul wow. on Braxton Myers as he's pleading his case. Yeah, I don't know what, what the foul call is there, honestly. I don't know. That is uh, Braxton's third, team's third of the half. Home crowd not happy about that call. As Almodover will have two free throws upcoming as we see Blaine Hornsby set to check into the ball game once more. Almodover makes his first as Blaine Hornsby checks in for Braxton Myers. With 4.31 left to play in this third quarter. The Spartans find themselves up 33 to 27. Almodover gets that one to go. He now has eight as we see the Millers pull that press back up. Yeah, it was successful the first time they used it and uh, they get a kick ball here. As it looks like they're going to, yep, they're gonna continue to, I mean, Spartans are almost at the half court, so you can almost call this a half court trap. 
as they're trying everything they hand, can to get the ball out of Josh Williams' hands. Yeah, they know. Yep, that's another tip out of bounds um, against Noblesville. Spartans are really struggling here. Coach Brown is not happy. Um, as you see, Gavin Pearson set to check in here. So check in for James, James Williams. Yep. Yeah, Coach Brown was not happy with what was going on out there. Um, he wants somebody out there that's just going to control the ball. As you've seen, fine, I believe. Yeah, fine's play. Spartans was going with a yeah. five-guard lineup here. As we see Josh Williams drive inside, he gets it stripped. He tries to give it back out, but fine has it. He's going to go coast to coast, lay it in. He gets it to go as the Millers cut the lead down to four at 33-29. to 29. That's fine's 12th point of the night. Spartans break the press pretty easily this time as you see Gavin Pearson have it in the corner. He picks up his dribble, finds Barron back out to Pearson. Pearson over to Williams. Josh puts up a corner three. He gets it to go. Make that 21 tonight for Josh as the Spartans are back up 36 to 29. Yeah, having a great game again tonight. You know, something we failed to mention in pregame is Josh Williams did as we see a whistle, and oh, they're going to call an illegal screen on number, number 23, 23, Preston Roberts. It's his third. Third back foul, team's third of the half. Back to what I was saying earlier, we failed to mention Josh Williams did finish third in the Indiana Athlete of the Week voting last week for his efforts at Newcastle and Centerville. Um, coming back this week with another hot performance. Yeah, he's coming back with another strong case for uh, best performance of the week. Playing oh. Hornsby, overshot that one. He had it down there on the bar. I, I think it got tipped. Almost over, uh, goes up for the doke, but they are going to call a foul on, I think. They call a blocking foul. Lucas Barron. Uh, yeah. Lucas Barron. Um, I mean, wasn't really a necessary foul, but for your pride, I believe if he did not – if he didn't foul him, Almondover would have would have put a, put him on a poster. Yeah, I mean he would have Almondover had the the lane to you know, like you said, basically dunk on him. So I don't know what that foul was. You said like you said pride maybe as Almondover makes his first, giving him nine points on the night. He puts his first one in, pulls this lead back down to six. He has. One more upcoming. His free throw is up and good. Pulls the five. Spartans are still up five, 36 to 31. Three minutes left to play in this one as we see the Millers now are pulling their press back. Spartans have it. Josh Williams drives inside, gets it poked. Hornsby comes down with it, gets it out to Taco. Taco oh. pulls in, drives up, pulls up from 15 foot and gets it to go. Uh, bounced all around the rim, but ultimately fell in, putting the Spartans back up seven. Yeah, good job by Blaine Hornsby on getting the rebound, um, or I don't really know what you would call that, but um, looking for Braden Pearson right away. Roberts goes up with it, gets it to go. That's it. He's got five on the night. Looks like that was a physical possession right there, both offensively and defensively from both teams. Yeah, it was, and the rest did a good job of letting him play it out. Josh over to Gavin. Gavin gives it up to Josh. Josh looking to drive inside. He does. Kicks it over to Taco. Taco's corner three up. No good off the back of the rim. Gets his own rebound. Gives it to Lucas Barron. Barron gets it poked away. Josh comes down with it. He's going to drive inside. Kick it over to Gavin Pearson. Back over to Taco Pearson. Back up top to Gavin. Yeah, Spartans need to slow it down here. Look for a good possession. They uh, did a very good job of getting the ball back in their hands there. We see Josh Williams throw up a three. It's no good. Good shot right there. He was right on the three-point line. He had a couple guys around him as we see a whistle. And I believe we're going to get a timeout. timeout. It's going to be a full timeout from Noblesville. Yeah. Like you said, you know, not, not a bad shot. Um, a good shot for him as he has uh, 21 on the night and has definitely made some big threes. But, um, you know, after slowing down the pace there, after a very hectic, you know, probably 20 seconds there where the ball was, it felt like loose the whole entire time. Um, you know, you would like to see them slow it down for a little bit longer, move the ball around a little bit, and see what they can get into. Cam, 
with a little, actually, excuse me, exactly one minute and 50 seconds left to play in this one. The Spartans are up five. They were also up five at halftime. Um, what are you seeing right now from the Spartans that are allowing them to keep this lead up against a very good Noblesville team? They're having very good offensive possessions. Um, on defense, you know, they started the second half very strong. I don't think they scored until probably three minutes in, and they had already built themselves, you know, a five, maybe even seven-point lead at that point. And um, they're keeping that lead by, you know, just staying solid on the offensive side. Um, and on defense, you know, they're holding their own against, you know, what a Noblesville team is that scores a lot. As we set to resume play, both teams, excuse me, Noblesville is going to check in. Number 10, Justin Curry, making his second appearance of the night. The freshman guard is being guarded by the senior, Gavin Pearson. Almondover gives it up to Curry. Curry over to Fine. Fine back to Almondover. Almondover tries to drive baseline. They're going to call a charge on him. That's Almondover's third foul of the night. Team's fourth of the quarter. Half, excuse me. That's going to be his third team's fourth. Team's fourth, excuse me. Um, big momentum shifter right there by the Spartans. Yeah, and if you know, in the last 133 left in this quarter, if they could pick up his fourth foul, you know, you, you're probably not going to see him start that, you know, fourth and final quarter. Josh Williams has it on the block, kicks it over, tried to get it over to Gavin Pearson. It was knocked out of bounds by a Miller, and it's going to stay Connersville ball. Josh Williams taking the ball out for the Spartans. He finds Gavin Pearson wide open on the block. Gavin pump fakes and puts it up. Yeah. He gets it to go. Spartans back up seven. Those are hers, his first points of the ball game. Yeah, you know, Gavin Pearson did a good job. You know, if Almondover would have came down at all, that would have been his fourth and, you know, foul of the evening, and that would have put, you know, the Spartans very good. Fine, puts him a 15-footer, gets it to go. Make that a 14 tonight for Fine, yep. He's leading the Millers. Josh Williams has it with just over 50 seconds left to play in this third quarter. He kicks it over to Gavin. Gavin back out to Josh. Josh looks inside to James. They're going to call a foul on number 24, Hunter Walston. Walston. That's going to be his second team's fifth. Foul number 24. We see Braxton Myers set to check back into this ball game. Also checking in for the Millers, number five, Cooper Bean. Yeah, Braxton Myers is coming in for uh, James. James, okay. Yeah, nobody was coming out, and I was confused there for a second, but James Williams comes out, Braxton Myers in. See Gavin Pearson taking the ball out. He's going to throw it deep. Uh, dangerous pass right there. Taco Pearson has it as he's going to bring it across. Guarded by the freshman. He gives it up to Josh. Josh over to Gavin. Gavin is going to be dribbling around as the Spartans are looking to hold off. Yeah, Fine is giving no room to Josh Williams to breathe here. Gavin has it at the top of the key. He's going to try to drive inside, kick it over to Braxton Myers. Yeah, Myers trying to get, he does get it to Josh Williams. Josh has it in the corner. He's going to pull up from three. No good short as rebound by the freshman number 10, Justin Curry. At the end of three, the Spartans find themselves up five once more, 42-35. Cam, that quarter seemed like it flew by. It did seem to fly by, you know, the Spartans. I don't remember what the exact score was. Um, at the two start the second quarter, but um, you know, it seemed like they scored a lot and often. I actually think, uh, I don't remember the exact score at the sec start of the second half, do you? No, sir. I just know, you know, they scored a lot. Josh put up seven there, too, in that third quarter. And, uh, you know, something I want to point out is Almondover picked up his third foul. Roberts has uh, three fouls, and Brewer has three fouls. You know, that's three guys that if the Spartans could pick up that fourth foul, you know, you're not going to see them late until this, right into this game. As we look 
over on the Miller bench. It looks like Almodovar will not start to come out in the fourth quarter. It looks like fine. Fine will be as we see number 23, Preston Roberts, check back into the ball game. Yeah, you, you see Almodovar not come out uh, for the Millers here. It's, oh, no, he is coming uh, out. He's going to check back into the ball game. Yeah, he's checking back in here. You know, that's going to be key if the Spartans can pick up that fourth and final foul. Um, or not final foul, excuse me. Fourth foul. And, I mean, he, like I said, he's going to be out till late in the fourth quarter. Bean has it. He's bringing it across the timeline. Over to Fine. Back up to Almond over. Over to Bean. Bean has it at the top of the key. Over to Curry. Curry has it on the wing. Over to Almond over. He's going to shot fake from deep drive inside. Kick over to Bean. Bean being trapped in the corner. He picked up his dribble as the Spartans steal that one. As James Williams comes down with it, he's going to clear it out to Gavin Pearson. Yeah, the Spartans did a great job of slowing down, making sure they got it to their man and that they weren't going to get picked off by um, a Miller player down court. James Williams has it. Top of the key. Over to Josh Williams. Coach Brown Coach calls Brown's a timeout. Not happy. They're going to call a 30-second timeout. Um, I don't know. What was he not happy about right there? Uh, I believe he wasn't happy at James Williams. Um, you know, him and James seemed to be, you know, talking back and forth while the play was going on. And I don't think James quite, you know, understood what Coach Brown was trying to say. And I don't know if that, you know, made him unhappy. Even, you know, Coach Bottomley was not happy with something going on. So clearly the coaching staff seen something they didn't want to see. And, you know, called one, a quick 30-second timeout, chat things over real quick, you know, and make sure because, you know, with seven minutes left in this game, it's only a five-point lead for the Spartans. That can change very quickly. Second horn, Spartans and the Millers come back out, set to resume play. Like you said, a little over seven minutes left to play in this one. Spartans are still up five at 40 to 35. So we see... Josh Williams has it in the backcourt. He brings it across the court. Good call, good crossover right there, drives inside. They're going to call him for a travel. Good call right there. Yeah, that was a good call. Uh, Josh Williams, you know, just didn't slow down enough, uh, was going too fast. Made a good pass, though. Uh, Braxton Myers was wide open in the corner. Um, and as you know, he is pretty good shooting threes from the corner. Number 20, Etchington checked back into the ball game during the break. Fine has it at the top of the key. He gives it up to Walston. Walston over to Almodover. Back over to Fine. Fine's going to kick over to Etchington in the corner, looking inside to Roberts. He makes a move inside, kicks over to Etchington. Wow. He takes a deep three. No good off the back of the rim. A lot of contact right there, but Lucas Barron comes down with the, with the defensive rebound. Yeah, like you said, very deep three there. I don't know how that's can a call bad that call a right there. Yeah, I don't know how they can call that a charge. Oh lord, that's oh oh yeah. James Williams is going crazy. And so is Coach Brown. Yeah, I don't know how they can call that a charge. That's not a good oh, call. Oh lord, this place is yeah mad. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know how that's a foul. Coach Brown not happy with that one. Neither is Spartan Nation as we hear. Ooh, a lot of contact right there. I almost think that's a makeup call. It, you know, it very well could be. Um, like you said, a lot of contact there is what seemed to be another foul right even there. Oh, we're going to. Oh, they're going to say it was tipped. Oh, Lord. I don't know about that one. Either way, Spartans do have the basketball. I don't know what's going Noblesville on. Noblesville coach is red in the face. He is not happy. He is screaming at the officials. Uh, you gotta, you just got to think of how much longer they're going to let this one go yes. before they hand out some techs. Uh, Spartans got to slow down for sure. Uh, jump ball as Coach Brown is not happy. He tried to call a timeout. They didn't give it to him. Gavin Pearson also not happy. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't oh, know. As Noble's little head coach is over clapping in the official's face as he's he's told to turn around and walk away. Yeah, I, I don't you know what how is much, going on. You wonder how much before we start seeing a couple of texts being handed out as stuff has gotten Harry Spartans remain with the basketball. Arrow flips back over to Noble's little side as we see Josh Williams have it. Spartans still up five with a, a little under five minutes and 20 seconds left to play in this one. Loose ball, Braxton Myers comes down with it. He gives it over to Josh. Josh over to Barron. Barron goes up with the lamp. He gets it to go. Make that eight for him. The Spartans are up seven, 42 to 35, with five minutes left to play in this one. Yeah, Spartans did a good job there, getting a good look, coming down as all but over. Takes wow. a deep three. He gets it to go as Braxton Myers asking a foul. Uh, we do have a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. Noblesville. Noblesville. Wow. Wow. That was a. <laughs> That was a deep that, three from Almondover. Not only that, that was a hectic two minutes right there. Uh, yeah. It seemed like we were back and forth almost a the lot whole of, time. A lot of time killed there uh, for the Spartans. Like you said, you know, it just seemed wild. Um, possibly could have been quite a few texts there, um, quite a few missed calls. Um, they, the refs are definitely letting them play this one out. Um, and, you know, you just hope here in the last couple minutes it doesn't get really a really soft game. Four minutes, 53 seconds left to play in this one. Cam, you're almost glad to see that timeout right there before stuff got really physical. You know, they've let them play all night, but uh, it just looked like it was the tensions were starting to rise fast and often. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, that's something you like to see from Noblesville, you know, just a timeout, calm everything down, you know. Uh, both coaches, coaching staffs, I should say, not even just, you know, head coaches are red in the face. Uh, they've been jumping up and down, yelling, uh, trying to get somebody's attention. I know Coach Brown wanted a timeout when uh, Gavin Pearson was rolling on the floor with another Miller, or with a Noblesville player. Um, like you said, the tensions have rose very quick in here. We have a good game here on our hands. As you see Gavin Pearson have it with 4.45 left to play. He looks inside to Barron. Barron back over to Pearson. Pearson on the wing. He's going to give it to Josh. Josh is going to take a top of the key three, and he's going to get it to go. Make that 24 tonight for Josh as the Spartans are up 45 to 38 as they've really grown this lead in the last minute and a half. Yeah, they have um, had some good possessions here, and that's something they just got to keep rolling as they're going to call it. A foul on Braxton Myers. Braxton. Good call right there. It just seems That's like he got fourth. the hand and held. Uh, yeah, that is his fourth team, team six. sixth. Yep. As we see Taco Pearson set to check in for him. Yeah, you expect to see him um, right around two minutes left, maybe a, even a minute left uh, in this game. But get him sitting down, you know, definitely don't want to pick up that fifth and final foul because he's going to be very important towards the end of this game. Noblesville, as that's Josh wins, has it. Josh going down the court. He goes to reverse left. Oh, that's a hard foul right there. Looks like Josh hit the floor. They're going to call that one on Almond over. That's going to be his fourth, I believe. Yeah, that's his fourth foul. Uh, Josh wins up walking around. That was a hard foul. Um, lucky Josh isn't hurt. Yeah, like you said, a tough foul. Uh, physical game here. Uh, you, you know, Almondover with his fourth foul, they keeping him in the game because I don't see anyone set to check in. Uh, refs making sure that Josh is all right. And laughing here, and we'll continue on, I guess. Almondover has four. You think he might, I mean, actually, I about said he might sit down seven. Noblesville is going to need their top scorer now down eight as Josh got his first free throw to go. That's going to be tough for Noblesville to pull him out of this game if he does get that fifth foul because of how good of a scorer he is. Yeah, and he's playing good defensively too. Like, that's going to hurt Noblesville as you see some Cooper, Cooper Bean set to check into this one. He is going to check in for number 20. Check in for Etchinson. I thought he was going to come get. Yeah, they're going to keep Almondover in the game, which, I mean, if you think about it, they about have to. You know, he's, he's their main player. see Spartans half pressed right there as you see Taco Pearson 
Everybody in Spartan Bowl wanted a travel called right there. They don't get it. Fine has it. He gives it up to Almadavro. He's going to shot fake. Oh, it looks wow. like. Wow, late call. Oh, yeah, really late end. call. Taco Pearson thought he should have had an offensive call right there, but ultimately they're going to call that one on Taco. I mean, that was a foul right uh, off the start there, but, um, yeah, even. Like, that was just a late call, I guess. As we see, the Millers are now in the one one bonus. They will be the rest of the way out. One more foul from Noblesville. It will also send Connorsville to the line with a, just a tick under four minutes left to play in this game. Almondover's first free throw up and good. He has one more upcoming. That's Almondover's 14th of the night. Awaiting his second one. He puts it up and gets it to go. As you see, Noblesville pulls this one back to seven. As they are going to pull this hat full court trap back up to try to speed the Spartans up, get a couple turnovers. The Spartans easily broke it as they find Taco Pearson on the block. He gets it stripped from him. Uh, to say out of bounds, last touch by the Spartans is going to be Noblesville basketball with 3.48 left to play. Yeah, not sure if Vine got all, uh, all ball there or not, but um, you know, you couldn't really tell. It looked like he got some of Pearson's arm, but you know, like I said, they have a better angle on it than we do. Fine has it at the wing. That is over to Walston. Walston back up to Fine. Fine back over to Walston up to Almadrevo. He's going to drive inside. Ooh. He's going to go Come up. On. They're going to call a foul on, I believe, James Williams, I'm going to assume. Yep. yep. That's his fourth. James is fourth as we see. Here Myers. comes Braxton Myers set to check back into this one. He has four. He's got to be careful. Yeah, a little checking in a little bit earlier than I expected him to be uh, with a little under 3.30 left to play in this game. But, you know, with James Williams also picking up his fourth foul, you really, you know, you can't really afford to have either one of those guys out late in this game. He checks in for Taco Pearson. Almodarevo's first free throw was up and no good. He has one more coming. Almodarevo's second one is up and good. He has 16 on the night. Call an official timeout. Official timeout. As he's over in front of us talking to the scores table. They're going to, I believe, add three seconds on the time. Or no, they're going to take. They're going to take three seconds away? What are they? I don't know. Whoa. Yeah, it looks like they are going to take yeah, three seconds take away. <laughs> or add three seconds back, oh, maybe? No, I don't know. Back. The clock must have never started there. I think that's what, what they're trying they, to say. What did they do there? When they stopped the clock, all they did there was 324. Clock didn't start. Yep, that's what they said. But they didn't do much. There was still 324. I, I don't know. You see Gavin Pearson has it. He kicks it over to Josh Williams. He's going to drive inside. He's going to put it up. He's going to get a foul. We're going to say no shot. It's on the floor, and I believe they're going to call that one on number 23, Preston Roberts. Yeah, that'll be Roberts' fourth foul of the night, seventh on um, the Millers in this half. That put Josh Williams at the line for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here. Uh, you think if Spartans can get, you know, at the foul line, that you know, if they start making these free throws, that's really going to separate this game. Awaiting Josh's first free throw. It's up and it's good. Spartans extend that lead back to seven. Three minutes and eight seconds left to play in this one. It's 26 on the night. Josh's second free throw is up and good. Make that 27 for him. As Braden Pearson checks back in for Braxton Myers. We see Noblesville has kind of started to slow down here. You know, they've started to play the Spartans ball game. And it's ultimately 
led to the Spartans growing. As we see all of over, good fake right there. Pulls up from 15. He does not get it to go. Rebound by the Spartans as Josh Williams has it. Um, Spartans coaches are not happy right now. Josh drives inside, dishes it to James. James puts it up, no good. Gets his own rebound, kicks it back out to Taco Pearson. And the Spartans get another opportunity as we see Gavin Pearson falls and they're going to call a travel. That's the second Spartan player we've seen trip in that, or excuse me, fall in that same spot. Uh, you wonder if there's a wet spot. Josh Williams earlier, we mentioned it, kind of looked like a foul, um, but did the exact same thing that Gavin did right there. Yeah, not sure exactly what's going on there. Let's see, fine, put up one, no good. He gets his own rebound, tries to kick it out, gets it blocked. Gavin Pearson comes down with it. He gets it to Josh. As you see the Millers pulling their press back up, he gets it across the timeline to Barron. Barron's going to get fouled by number three, Aaron Fine, and he is going to have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity coming to the free throw line with two minutes and 19 seconds left to play in this one. Yeah, that's Fine's first of the night. Team's eighth of the half. Some really big opportunity, a really big opportunity here for Lucas Barron to separate this game and put it in a 10-point game if you knock both these free throws down. Barron's first free throw is up and good. He's got nine on the night. Stretches that lead to nine with two minutes and 19 seconds left to play in this one. Barron's second free throw up and good. He's got 10. Really, really good job by the Spartans on the offensive boards. I mean, just in the last couple minutes, we've had two or three second chances off of the good follow your shot boards as we see Fine put up another one. No good. James Williams comes down with the rebound. He's being triple teamed. He dribbles gets it over to his brother, Josh. Josh makes a move. We have a whistle, and it's going to be a Spartan timeout as we see a full timeout being called. Yeah, you see Braxton Myers check in. We'll see who yep, checks in for uh, Taco Pearson here with 2.01 left to play. Spartans lead 51 to 41. Something I want to point out is both teams have eight fouls in this. Um, both teams also have key players on the court right now with four fouls for Connersville. It's Myers and James Williams with four fouls, four fouls excuse me. And you, you look at Noblesville and Almondover and uh, Roberts have four fouls as well. You know, if somebody picks up that fifth foul, that could come into play here with you know, two minutes left to play. Cam, if you're the Spartans right now, you know you're up 10 with a tick over two minutes left to play in this one. You know, you just got to be thinking that the Spartans are, are telling their guys, you know, calm down, play your level of basketball. You know, it's gotten you this far in this game. You're up 10. It looks like Noblesville as they are set to check number 10, Justin Curry, back into this one. Um, as we see that it just looks like Noblesville has been – um, sped up and almost been starstruck on how good the Spartans have been playing in this fourth quarter. Yeah, Noblesville has definitely not played their game. Um, I, the only time I recall them playing their game tonight was at the end of the first quarter when, you know, they got out and ran the ball. Spartans are set to check the ball back in. Possession arrow is pointed at Noblesville, though, so the next jump ball will be awarded to Noblesville. Braxton Myers has it in the corner. Ooh, oh, yeah. that's a – I don't know who Braxton – oh, he thought Josh Williams was going to continue to go down on the corner. He was trying to lead him with a pass. Yeah. Either way, the turnover by the Spartans, and Noblesville will have the ball with a minute 55 left to play. Yeah. You know, a silly mistake there for the Spartans, but, um, you know, up 10 with under two minutes to play here. Just got to keep doing what they're doing. Bean has it. He gives it over to Curry. Curry back up to Fine. Fine dribbles inside. He's going to kick it over to Curry. Curry's going to let one go from behind the arc. It's no good off the back of the rim. Rebound by the Spartans and Gavin Pearson, and they're going to call number 24, Hunter Walston, with a foul, and it's going to send the Spartans, specifically Gavin Pearson, to the free throw line for the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Yeah, that's uh, Walston's third foul. Team's ninth of the half. One on one opportunity here for Connorsville. Awaiting Gavin's first free throw. 
With 1.31 left to play in this one, the Spartans find themselves up 10, 51 to 41. Gavin's first free throw up and good. He will have a second. Make that three tonight for him. Yeah, Gavin Pearson had a pretty sound game tonight. His second free throw up and good. Make that four for him as the Spartans find themselves up 12 with a minute and a half left to play. Fine goes up and he gets it to go as we see Noblesville call a timeout. Yeah, that's 16 for Fine tonight. He leads the, or actually he's tied with Almondover. Um, 16 apiece for both of them for Noblesville. But like you said, Noblesville full timeout here. Uh, talking things over, down by 10 with a minute 23 left to play in this fourth quarter. Both teams in bonus. Connorsville, or Nobisville is one foul away um, from, you know, putting the Spartans in double bonus. And, you know, that would almost be the nail in the coffin at that point when the Spartans are shooting, you know, two free throws guaranteed. And you just got to think that that's, that's going to be the nail in the coffin if it gets to that point. 1.23 left to play in this one. The Spartans find themselves up 10. We are in a timeout break right now. As we see, I believe, Almondover came over. over here talking to the. He came over to wipe table. off his shoes. They got the sticky pad thing oh. over here. That's what he came over to use. You see Josh Williams using it right now as well. Second horn team's coming back out as Noblesville is going to pull this now full court press. They were full court press as you see. Oh, it looks like yeah. a foul. They are going to call it on the freshman number 10, Curry. Justin Curry. That's yeah, that 10th foul I was talking about. Spartans are in the double bonus the rest of the way out as we see Gavin Pearson with a guaranteed two free throws to shoot. Yeah, that's Curry's second foul. Team's 10th of the half. As we see Taco Pearson, I believe, about to check into this one. Actually, they're going to pull him back to the bench now. Gavin's first free throw attempt is up and good. Make that five tonight for him. As <laughs> Braxton Myers went to come out of this one but realized that he was staying back in it. As the Spartans have two players right now in Braxton Myers and James Williams on the floor with four fouls. Yeah, and with the minute 21 here to play, you got a what could be 12 point lead as right, now you see him. Now you see check in. Now Taco Pearson checked back into the ball game. Braxton Myers comes to take a quick breather. I'm sure he'll be back out there sooner rather than later. Uh, he's a really big key for this Spartan team. Fine has it. He's going to try to get inside. He gives it up to Bean. Bean drives inside, spins, gives it back out to Fine. Fine chucks up a quick one. He gets it to go. He shortens this deficit to 55 to 46 as we see Spartans break the press as Barron has it. He gives it up to Josh. Josh gives it to James. James, we have a whistle, and they're going to call a foul. foul on, I believe, I believe they're going to call that one on number 20, Luke Etchinson. Oh, no, they're going to call it on number three, Aaron Fine. Excuse me. His second, team's 11th of the half. James Williams shooting double bonus here as Noblesville has a whole lineup changes. They are yeah. going to give up on this one. Set to check in for the Noblesville. Millers is number one, TJ Davidson, number 32. Will Smith, number 12. Number 12's not even on this roster. Yeah, a lot of the JV guys, we've seen a lot of JV guys in, this, um, in the game before this check in here. Uh, number 12 and number 30 are not on the roster, nor is number 40. So excuse us when it comes to calling out their names. We see James sinks both his free throws, giving him seven on the night. That is Davidson that has the ball. He's going to give it up to number 12. Number 12 gives it to number 30, who is driven around. He's going to give it up to number 12 in the corner. Number 12 is going to drive, give it back up to 30. 30 is going to take a three. He gets it. Uh, no, it goes in and out. Josh Williams comes down with the rebound as we see Cody Naylor, Brady Cloyd, Xander McHenry, and Blaine Hornsby all check to set in or set to check in for the Spartans. Timeout. He's saying keep it rolling. Call, yeah, they're just checking them guys get in. Their boys checked in. Get up some minutes as we see as we see Josh, Lucas, 
and all of the Spartans happy about this one. This is a really quality win for this Spartan team as they've had a rough week and a half schedule-wise. Yeah, they have, you know, a couple really tough opponents here, and uh, this is a very good win for this team. You know, we talked about it, and so did Coach Brown, keep the turnovers, the rebounds, and play defense, and this one should be wraps. And uh, they've done all three tonight. As we see Jaden Peterson have it, he's going to give it over to Cloyd. Cloyd over to Naylor. Naylor's in the corner. He gives it up to Hornsby. Hornsby over to Jaden Peterson. Peterson's three from the wing is no good oh. short, as you'd like to see him just hold that one out as we have a whistle. Oh, they're and, gonna oh, they're going to call that one on Brady Cloyd. Cloyd. He's not happy about that one. Oh. But Six seconds left. Six seconds left. Noblesville will be shooting free throws. I believe that is going to be number 12. He is not listed on our roster. Yeah, number, we'll just go off number 12 on JV, Ryan Tracy, 6'1", junior. It's just our best bet. This place seems to be clearing out. Spartan, Spartan Nation is on its feet. It is a one and one attempt. That is Cloyd's first foul. Team's ninth. Number 12's first free throw is up, no good. Xander McHenry comes down with the rebound. As it looks like the Spartans are just going to pull this one out as they're going to seal a very quality team win against a very good Noblesville team. Spartans advance to 10 and, 10 and 3 on the season as the Noblesville Millers fall to 8 and 4. Cam, really quality win. Um, good to see some of the JV guys and um, a varsity player that doesn't get to play much in Cody Naylor get to come out and play a little bit tonight. Um, Make that two weeks that's had really quality wins for the Spartans. Uh, last week in Greensburg, that was a tough win. Josh Williams didn't get to play much. He got in foul trouble early. Newcastle was another tough battle. Tough battle. Um, they had a, another easier con or an easier win Wednesday against Centerville. Um, but they had some things to clean up, and I believe they got it done tonight. And that is a reason why they are up top on the scoreboard. Cam, I believe you have the scoring cap for tonight. Yeah, we'll start off with Doublesville. Leading the way for them was Fine with 19, Almondover with 16, Roberts with three, and then Bean, Brewer, and number 20, Etcherson with two apiece, all of them, rounding them out to 46 on the scoreboard. And then we look over to the Connorsville Spartans, leading the way was Josh Williams with 27, following him was Lucas Barron with 10, James Williams with seven, Gavin Pearson with six, Braxton Myers with four, and Braden Pearson with two, rounding them out at 57. Now we just mentioned that the Spartans advanced to 10 and four, really good team win. Let's take a look at the next week's schedule. Next week, the Spartans will have a conference game at Batesville at 7.30. We will be there. Once again, that is at Batesville for a touch, tough conference matchup. Um, Spartans control their own way in conference for or their own destiny in the conference. They just need to win out and they will be the conference champs. Um, just really, really good win tonight against a really good Noblesville team who's had a couple quality wins. We're glad you guys could join us. Hopefully we see you guys next week in Batesville. If not, tune in at 7.30 at Batesville Tough Conference game. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. This has been an SSN broadcast.